there everyone this is Lilith and welcome back to another one of my videos for Altenew and today I am showing you this really simple layout and I wanted to use the new inks from Altenew and I've taken out the set of four from the Cherry Blossom oval ink set as well as the pocket full of sunshine so the pocket full of sunshine is um, you get four inks in different shades of yellow and the cherry blossom is lots of lovely shades of pink and it's a really lovely pink now the first thing I'm going to do is create my background so I'm not going to be stamping with these inks I'm going to be using them as watercolors so I've just added a little bit of water to this background paper which comes from the reflection scrapbook collection and then I'm adding a little bit of color to one of my acrylic blocks and then adding a bit of water and just adding that to the paper and as you can see you get this lovely color and by adding more or less water or a different shade of yellow you get different shades of the color now once I've got my colors down and I'm happy with that I'm going to just leave that to dry and then I'm going to start creating my title I really wanted to use these uh, letters which also come in a Refre reflection scrapbook collection I have got a lot of them left over and I don't use them nearly as much as I should and I thought it would be nice to create a nice long title with this one. So my title is Crisp Winter's Day. And it might be a bit strange to use these bright colors for a winter layout, but I don't think there are any rules. And I thought it would match quite well with the cold blues on, of the picture and that really wintry feel, just to add a bit of warmth. So now that I've got my picture, I'm just going to mat that onto some white cardstock just so that the picture pops off the layout a little bit more. And I'm going to pop that onto some foam dots. And because I do want a little bit more of that blue in the layout, I'm going to mat the photo once again onto some blue pa um, pattern paper, which comes also in our scrapbook collection. I also wanted to use one of the new dies which has just come out which is called uh, script words and you get three words you get the word hugs congrats and love and I'm going to use the word love which I'm just going to pop on top just to add a little bit of contrast with the black title below now I'm going to glue down my photo and I want to add an embellishment but I'm going to make it myself and I'm going to cut out a large heart and so what I've done is I've taken that same blue paper I've just folded it in half and I'm going to use the heart as embellishment and I'm going to cut out three more of those as well to add a bit of depth to the hearts and to make them pop off the layout a bit more, I'm just going to create a very random border, a kind of sketched border around the edges. And once that is done, all I have to do is add my hearts and add a couple of embellishments. And that's that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you very soon with another layout. If you want more information on all the products used, you can find that in the blog post on the Elton News Scrapbook blog. Have a lovely day. See you very soon. Bye bye.